Happy Sunday and Happy New Year, y'all. Okay, so today I want to talk about um, lukewarm Christians. I know a few of them within my faith and, and amongst other faiths. I've seen them and met them, and we don't want to be a lukewarm Christian, especially in this day and age, right? We know that these are the end times because a lot of things that have been prophesied in the scriptures are coming to pass. So we want to make sure that we're ready and that our testimonies are strong in these end times, right? So let's start off by reading our scripture verse in the Bible. Um, in Revelation chapter 3, verse 16, it says, So then, because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Spew meaning to vomit. We don't want the Lord to do that to us, right? So we want to make sure that our testimonies are strong, okay? So I want to tell you a story. The very first car that I ever owned was a 1987 Plymouth Horizon. It was just this little gray box on wheels. It was a very tiny car, but I'm tiny, so I needed a tiny car. Um, but the problem with this car is that it didn't like the cold, which I can relate to because I also do not like the cold. But what I mean is that um, when, it, when the temperatures dropped, I could never get the car to start. And I needed that car because I had to be um, at work at 630 in the morning down in Louisville, Kentucky. So I needed that car to work. And so I was talking to someone about this, my problems, and they said, well, we need to find a way to keep your car warm. And someone suggested that I use this, um, it's like a garage light. I don't know how to explain it, but it had like, um, like a cage or a protective wiring around it. I don't, if I find a picture of it, I'll, I'll Google it and show you. Um, but so I ended up getting a light like that. Someone had one and they let me borrow it. And so I took an extension cord and drug it all the way through my backyard and stuck that underneath, um, on the ground underneath my engine to keep it warm, you know, with the light and the heat. I thought, okay, we'll try this and see if it works. So the good news is that first night it worked and I was really excited and I got to work on time. However, the next night it did not work. The temperatures fell dram um, drastically and that light was not enough to, to keep the car, the engine warm. So I thought, okay, well now what am I going to do? So I just had this bright idea. I was like, okay, well, um, I'm going to go get the comforter off my bed. And that's what I did. I had this bright pink comforter on my bed and I yanked that off and I took it outside and I put it on the hood and I lifted up the hood and kind of stuck it, stuck the blanket underneath there so that the wind and the snow wouldn't knock it off. And I shut the hood and I kept that blanket on there. I'm sure the neighbors thought I was insane. Like, what is that girl doing? <laughs> she really loves that car, right? <laughs> anyway, so, um, so I, I had the blanket and I had the light and I thought, okay, please let this work. Let this work. And it did. It worked. I got up the next day, the car started right away and I didn't have any problems. And so that worked for the rest of the week and I was really excited about it. Well, um, Saturday I was off. I didn't have to go to work, so I didn't go anywhere because it was so cold. But then the next day on Sunday, I had to get up early and go to church. So Saturday night, I made sure that I did the same thing. I had the blanket and I had the light. And so I wanted to make sure that it, that it was warm for church the next morning. Well, guess what? It didn't work. It didn't work. And I thought, oh no, now what am I going to do? And so someone said, suggested that I needed to go out and start the car and, and use the car to keep that engine running um, so that it's ready for Sunday, even on my days off. And I thought, oh, I, I didn't think about that. And so every Saturday, even on my day off, I, I either went to the store or I just like kept it running for like 10 minutes, you know. Um, but I had to make sure that that engine was turned on every single day and then it would work with those three things, right? So what does that have to do with us and being a lukewarm Christian? Well, let's pretend that our testimonies are that engine, okay? So what do we need? We need a light. And who is our light? That is the Savior, Jesus Christ. And how do we bring the Savior close to us? Through reading the word, right? Through reading his scriptures. That's how, you know, when we read his words and um, we learn from them on a daily basis, that's going to help our testimonies to stay hot, right? We don't want them to be lukewarm or cold, okay? The second thing, obviously, is the comforter, right? And that is the Holy Ghost. So we want to do our best to make sure that we are worthy of the Holy Ghost, right? Stay away from pornography, inappropriate movies and music. Um, do your best to make the right decisions. And sometimes that that's hard to do. Um, 
if you're you know maybe new in uh, new in your faith sometimes it's hard to navigate and you're going to make mistakes even i still make mistakes and i've been a christian for 23 years right but we have the repentance process so we just repent and do our best to stay worthy of the holy ghost so that it can be around us and guide us during these tough times right and then the third thing is to start our start our engine daily and how do we do that we share our testimony we warn our neighbor that's the best way um, and I can testify to that over the years. That's what I've had to do, right? Is to share my testimony. Now, it's it might not always look the way that we think it is. It doesn't mean you have to go out there and knock doors and, you know, warn your neighbor like that. But you can send a scripture verse or um, you can write them a letter or give them a phone call and tell them. Or you can just write it down if you don't feel comfortable with doing that. Get a journal and write down your testimony or Tell me your testimony down in the comment section, right? But if we do those three things, um, that will keep us from falling into that pit of being of being cold or lukewarm. So keep your testimony strong, guys. I know that it's tough during these these hard times, but um, but we can do it. We got this because we have the Savior with us, and He wants to help us. I know that that's true in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. <music>